During this video, I am going to show you how to solve inequalities using multiplication and division. Remember that our main goal is to isolate the variable. So in order for you to isolate the variable, you need to cancel out any number that is in the side of the variable, okay? In this case, five shouldn't be there. So five is dividing. So the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply times positive five because this is positive five, right? And times positive five in the other side as well. Now I'm ready to cancel these out. So it will be x. I bring down the inequality symbol, and as I am multiplying and they have different signs, my answer will be negative. So negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Now I'm ready to graph my solution. So I can start my number line with negative 16, negative 15, negative 14, and so on, all right? So in this case, I need to analyze what the solution is telling me. Basically saying that x could be any number less than or equals to negative 15. As I have less than or equal, remember, less than or equal or greater than or equal, I need to use a closed circle when graphing it on my number line, okay? So I'm going to show you negative 15 right here with my closed circle. So now I need to think. What could be the numbers that are less than or equals to negative 15? Remember that in the negative side, the numbers really work like backwards. As they are moving away from zero, they becoming smaller, smaller, and smaller. So negative 16, negative 17, negative 18, and so on are numbers that are actually less than negative 15. So your arrow should be pointing towards this direction. Now we'd like you to analyze this inequality, pause the video, and try to do it by yourself. Very good. As you can see, we have this three that is dividing in this side of the variable and it shouldn't be. Inverse operation of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply times three here and also multiply times three here. As you can see, I'm multiplying by positive three because this is positive three. Now I just cancel these out and I have N is less than positive three because one times positive three is positive three. So now I have negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and three. Remember that when I have less than or greater than, I'm going to use an open circle. So now I need to make an open circle right here in the positive three, and I need to analyze. Basically, my solution is telling me that n could be any number less than three. Any number less than three is two, one, zero, negative one, and so on. So my arrow will be pointing towards this direction because those are numbers that actually are less than positive three, okay? All right, how about you try to do this one? Analyze what's the situation, what can you do to isolate your variable? Very good. As you can see, 12 is multiplying k. So the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by 12 here. And I'm also going to divide by 12 in the other side of the inequality. So I'm ready to cancel this out. And now I have k is less than or equal. Remember that when you're dividing or multiplying, and they have different signs, your answer will be negative. So negative 24 divided by 12 is equals to negative 2. Now I'm ready to graph my solution. This is going to be negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, and positive 3. Remember that when I have less than or equal, greater than or equal, I need to use a closed circle. 
So now I have my closed circle in negative two, and now I need to analyze my solution. The solution is telling me that my variable could be any number less than or equals to negative two. Remember that in the negative side, as they move away from zero, they become smaller and smaller. So my arrow will be pointing towards this direction. All right, let's stop for a moment. When you multiply or divide each side of an inequality, by the same negative number, all right? So this only happens when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number. The direction of the inequality symbol must be reversed in order for the inequality to remain true. You might say, what in heaven are you saying? So basically, when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative, you need to reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. If you're still not understanding these, don't worry. Let me show you an example. Remember that there is an invisible one here, even though you don't see it, okay? So I am going to, let's isolate my variable one number at a time. So I'm going to multiply by two here because these two is dividing, okay? So I'm going to multiply by two. And I'm going to multiply by two in this side as well. Now I'm ready to cancel out. So I have negative y, which is negative one, okay? Remember, there's an invisible one there. Greater than or equals to, basically I need to do this multiplication. If you don't know that it's one, let me show you why. So we have two times five, which is 10, two times zero, which is zero. And then I have one in there. Remember that you need to shift this in, this out, and then you shift it in. So it's 1.0. If you want, you can just put one or 1 1.0. It's up to you. But I am still not done. So I have a negative one here that is invisible. This negative one is multiplying. So I need to divide. And as I am dividing, by a negative number, I need to switch. I need to reverse the direction. So it will be y. And I switch. You see, I am reversing the direction of my inequality symbol because I am dividing by a negative number. 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. Because when you're dividing and they have different signs, your answer will be negative. So I have here negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, and positive 3. Remember that I, when I have less than or equal, greater than or equal, I need to use the closed circle. Okay? So I'm going to show you the closed circle in negative 1. Now I need to analyze what the solution is basically telling me. So it's saying that y is less than or equals to negative one. Remember that in the negative side, as they move away from zero, they become smaller and smaller. So negative two, negative three, negative four, and so on, they meet the criteria. Those numbers are less than or equals to negative one. 